everyone, it's Max here. I hope you're all doing all right. And before this video starts, I just want to say thank you all for getting me to 1 million views. So my channel, All Up, has over a million views. And um, yeah, now that I hit that big views milestone, for a special video, I thought of combining something natural with something artificially made. So here is a rowing boat. The boat itself is actually a seed pod. So it's a dried out coconut seed pod that I got from a palm tree nearby. So if you can see, there's a little switch here. You just switch on and it starts to row. Pretty cool, right? Well, in this video, I'll show you from scratch how to make this rowing boat. Let's get started. To start out, we're going to take a popsicle stick and split it into two pieces. Then you're going to file some grooves into each end. Take your seed pod and go to the end that you cut off. Press the two popsicle sticks together with the seed pod in between. So what you're doing here is squeezing the end and creating a watertight seal. Then you're going to tie some string to ensure that they are stuck together. Once you're finished with the rear end of your boat, what you're going to do is you're going to take some shorter pieces of popsicle stick and slide them in between the seed pod like so. To ensure a good watertight seal, you can pour some hot glue into the crack of the back of the boat. Now that we're done with the natural boat itself, we can move on to making the rowing mechanism. So the first part of the mechanism we're going to make is the pulley gear, or that little spindle that sits in the middle with the oars coming out of it. I chose to make it out of foam poster board. With a piece of 2mm wire, we're going to make those little loops that the oars are going to be going through. You can glue it somewhere in the middle of the boat. Take a couple of short pieces of popsicle stick, make a hole in each of them. This is basically what the pulley gear is going to be in between. And now I'm making the part from a 2mm wire that goes via the pulley gear and the two prongs sticking out. This is basically what's going to turn the oars around. Yep, so that's how the piece of bent wire should look like. Make sure you also put a rubber band in the pulley gear before you put everything together. Take a 3 volt battery and glue it somewhere in the middle part of the boat or the rear, which is even better. Then you're going to take the negative wire from the battery and solder it onto one of the ends of the motor. Then you're going to take a switch, solder it onto the positive side of the battery and from the other side of the switch there's going to be a wire coming to the other pole of the motor. Oops, my rubber band broke so I have to tie another one on. So far the mechanism seems to run well. Now we're going to make the oars with some 3mm wire. The lengths of the segments of wire can be anywhere between 15 to 20 centimeters. 
then attach the OR sticks to the rest of the mechanism. Now let's make a stick figure which will be sitting on the boat and appearing to be rowing. We're going to make the legs from the same piece of 3mm metallic wire. And then I also made the arms. Be sure to attach the stick figure to the oars themselves. From a sheet of thin cardboard, I decided it would be cool to make an Asian style straw hat for the figure. I almost completely forgot to do this, but now let's make the oar heads and attach them onto the oar sticks. Now the rowing boat is pretty much finished. Let's go and test it out and see if it works. Hmm, the boat doesn't seem to have enough electrical power, so I decided to attach on another 3 volt battery in series, so let's see if it works now. Still doesn't work, well it looks like we just have to swap out the motor for a geared one, which is a reduction motor and will most likely work. I also swapped out the pulley wheel for a plastic one from bottle caps since the foam pulley wheel was a little bit too slippery. This one does much better. Good news, the rowing boat seems to work. Pretty well actually. That's all for this time guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial showing you how I made this rowing boat from a natural seed pod and some more artificial materials of course like plastic, you see the motors, the uh, metal wire and uh, batteries and stuff like that. So uh, combining the two you get a rowing boat which does pretty good on water. It rows quite well. It rows at a normal speed to scale with a real boat so if you scale this up it's pretty much the same kind of rowing speed. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you support me and the content I put out by giving this video a like, sharing this video with your friends, and subscribing with the notification bell ticked so you never miss an upcoming video. You can also follow me on Instagram at max.imagination. I post updates on different projects, little sneak peeks, and um, also some other cool stuff that I'm up to. See you there. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Peace! Row, row, row your boat gently down a stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream.